all right ladies and gentlemen welcome or welcome back thank you for tuning into my channel i am the bro gamer and today we have some potentially very very exciting very interesting potentially controversial i'll get into that news uh, regarding dragon ball z kakura and the next dlc or the rumor of the next dlc but we know we will be getting multiple dlcs in the future for this game that has been uh confirmed by the developers that they will continue to be you know giving us new dlcs for this game but for the purposes of this video video we will be discussing albeit a rumor albeit a rumor but was potentially likely going to be what the next dlc for the game is rumored to be all about here and as you guys can see by the title rumor dragon ball z kakarot leak hints at new dlc I'm gonna read a little bit of this article here and then we'll just we'll be sharing some of my thoughts on it. So Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's next DLC will be about Dragon Ball Daima. If rumors are to be believed with many fans discussions and speculations on what the next set of DLC Dragon Ball Z Kakarot will come up with soon. A lot of players have been trying to find any hints and clues that the game may have provided. While the game has been around for over four years, it has continued to launch new content. Dragon Ball Z's Goku Next Journey DLC recently made its way, and that obviously is the latest uh, DLC that we have from the game, for those of you who don't know. And I think the consensus was, I think it's fair to say that everybody, or most people, I'll say, definitely enjoyed the dlc i just i can definitely concede that it was extremely too short man we wanted more we wanted more just a little bit more you know we wanted it to at least be similarly on par to the length of the 23rd world tournament and possibly or probably the other dlcs that we got for a new power awakens one two and even the bardock uh bardock dlc and so on and so forth but it was still an amazing dlc nonetheless and like a good appetizer um so continue reading here with no signs of slowing down dragon ball z kakura looks to be continuing honoring the legacy of akira akira toriyama r.i.p the decades of content that dragon ball z has is enough to last a few more seasons admittedly while many of the stories told are, f are familiar territory there are still some stories that haven't been given the video game treatment such in the case with the rumored dlc coming to dragon ball z kakura soon now, obviously i think for dlc purposes um you can't use like every single i guess little uh villain in the grand scheme of things that have been presented and things like super and whatnot um but i think definitely for one i'll say this and i don't think that they will not touch this i think it would be an absolute uh travesty but you can't do this to me yes i will say a travesty for them to not at least at some point give us some type of a gt based dragon ball gt based dlc there's also a fair amount of content let alone from dragon ball super that hasn't been tapped into uh they can even go back and even give us a little bit more of the uh kid goku his early upbringing some stories from that even possibly if they wanted to but i think there's a little bit more than a fair amount of content that they can still tap into for DLC purposes. Um, so continuing here, Twitter user Jos Josu, I don't want to mispronounce it. Kit what? Kitsune or Kitsune shared screenshots of data mined content from Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. In some of the screenshots, the title of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot additional episode Daima Part One can be seen, implying that it could be coming to the game soon. Dragon Ball Daima has generated a lot of interest in the fan base and it's a smart choice by the developers to bolster the hype for the show if Dragon Ball Z Kakarot can utilize its content while it's fresh. And I absolutely have to agree with that point, mainly uh, this mainly this second half of the sentence right here. Um, as it says, it would be a smart choice by the developers because obviously for those that are very excited for the show and those that may be, uh, you know, not super hyped but definitely interested it can definitely uh, still do the job of uh continuing the momentum of garnering interest um potentially getting people excited sometimes it's weird man i, I may let me know if you guys are one of those people but for me for something that i could be potentially on the fence about and i'm not saying i'm necessarily on the fence for dragon ball diamond but i'm closer to on the fence than i am super excited about it just because of what we know is going to be about at this point 
um, potentially playing a video game and getting yourself ingratiated into any type of anime, especially like that, or any type of uh, show in general that's similar, that can really at least, at the very least, get you to try out watching the actual show or movie that the game is based off of. So that, that certainly can be true, and I think it's a smart move if they do um, decide to do a diamond based DLC. And I think it, it would make sense. I think it really would make sense, guys, for them to do that. And just to finish off here with these last two paragraphs really quick, while this is just a rumor at the moment, it's highly likely that new characters will make their way to the game. The Dragon Ball Z Kakarot roster will continue to grow yet again, and that also means new levels and areas to play in. The amount of new content that is going to be taken from the upcoming Dragon Ball entry will give us will give fans, excuse me, a fresh look and renewed interest in both the franchise and the title as well. Not surprisingly, the game has continued to surpass various milestones. Just recently, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot sold more than 8 million copies. This is quite an impressive feat, and it shows that the game continues to sell. While the exponential growth can be attributed to its newer ports, it still shows that, that Goku and the Dragon Ball franchise still garners a lot of interest. Even upcoming games like Dragon Ball Spark Zero seem to be getting a lot of hype, and that is a freaking understatement, dude. People are absolutely psyched for this. Like, you, you have to really go into the very, very tiny corners of the internet to find the few people who may be uh there i say not clearly not excited or even criticizing this game despite a lot of the criticism that dragon ball z kakarot has uh gotten you just can't deny man that it is i mean for me personally i love xenoverse don't get me wrong but i think it's just it's it's a better game than xenoverse i think it really just gives us that perfect balance of the fighting along with actually like really really highlighting the story which sparking doesn't necessarily aim to do that's not its purpose is to really really dive into every aspect of the dialogue and the in just fully immerse people in just the story the story side of things so i think that dragon ball z kakarot despite its criticism and the fair criticism criticism excuse me it's gotten i think it, it really will stand the test of time and be at least in the in the top 10 at the very least dragon ball dragon ball z games of all time um now as for diamond i'm, I'm not gonna ramble here too much but uh, i don't know i'm just not really super excited about just the premise of it guys to be honest with you with everybody pretty much uh being turned back into them, their kids selves but i think that um obviously it being the last of akira toriyama's work i definitely will respect it i will i would want to give it its respect by at least giving it a fair shot to try it out and, that, and if i don't like it or if you don't like it or if i do like it and you don't like it that doesn't mean that it's bad it just may not be for you so i definitely want to give it a shot i'm definitely will go ahead and purchase a dlc if it does come out because even maybe if i'm not super into or interested in the show maybe i'll i'll love playing the the, the game or the, the dlc for it whatever direction they decide to go i definitely will be excited i will watch your interest and i'll try to um Make sure I stay on top of this as the, as the news comes out regarding the next DLC, whatever it, it, it decides to be centered around. Uh, but more importantly, just to end the video, I mean, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Uh, would, would you be excited about it? Would you, even if you're not as excited, would you still purchase the DLC? Would you be completely against getting a, a diamond-based DLC in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Um, let me know what you guys think. I'd be very interested to hear, as always, from you guys. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video hope that you guys did find it informative if you did please guys i would immensely appreciate it if you could drop the video a like if you did enjoy it of course feel free to leave any comments of course in the comment section below i hope that you all have an absolute fantastic one i hope to catch you back here on the next one but until then peace i'll catch you have a great one